Today I'm extra excited because we are going to be running through another Pilates class especially for runners so all you runners out there this one is for you. I hope you guys are ready. I don't know about you but since the lockdown lifted slightly I have been doing as much running as I can but with that I have found that I'm getting really tight in certain areas of my body. So today's class is going to be focusing on the, the flexibility and the stretching of different muscles that are needed when running as well as strengthening those particular muscles. I hope you guys are ready for a good Pilates for Runners session. Let's get straight into it starting at the end of our mat. We're going to start with five roll downs into push-ups. So let's inhale. And on the exhale, we're going to lengthen that spine, draw those gaps down the back, sucking in that pelvic floor and that tummy towards the spine. We're going to inhale. And on the exhale, slowly roll down your head towards the floor and slowly touching those toes walking those hands to the end of the mat inhale exhale push up and rolling back up make sure you're walking your hands all the way to your feet before you roll into a standing position inhale exhale roll down and inhale exhale push up and that's two and slowly back up into that crisp posture inhale exhale roll down and inhale Exhale, push up and slowly back up and rolling yourself into standing. Inhale, exhale, slowly rolling, lengthening that spine and down and push up and back up. And we're going to do one more. Inhale, exhale, slowly going down, hands in and back. Inhale, and we're going to hold here for 10, 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and up and hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walking those hands to the center of the mat, pushing those heels into the ground, rotating that tailbone out towards the ceiling, pushing those back of those knees towards the wall behind you. Gonna hold for ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and walking, holding into the extended plank position. And we're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, back up and slowly. Walking those hands back to your feet. You're just going to hold in this position. Really focus on just allowing that spine to stretch out. And inhale. And exhale slowly. Rolling back up. Inhale. Exhale. Rolling. Head, neck and chest towards the floor. Walking those hands all the way to the end of the mat. And holding for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and all the way back up. Walking those hands to the center of the mat. We're going to walk those calves out, bending that right knee, pushing that left heel into the ground, and rotate, and rotate, and rotate. Keep going. And three, two, one, and slowly walking yourself back up into a standard position. Let's come to the center of the mat. We're going to lengthen that spine, sucking in that belly to spine. We're going to start balancing on that right leg first. In this position, I really want you to focus on keeping that arch of your foot Lift it while you maintain good contact with the ball of your foot and your heel. We're going to get that balance before we start. We're going to inhale and on the exhale, extend into a superman hold, getting a bend in that knee, core nice and tight, and a nice parallel positioning of your legs and arms. 
and you're going to inhale, exhale, lifting that leg into high knee. We're going to do five of these. That's one. And extend. And all the way back up. That's two. And extend. Bending that knee. And three. And last two. And extend. And slowly back up. Using your core to lift and draw that heel up into the high knee. And the last one, we're going to stay in that position. And we're going to hold. And we're going to lower that leg down and up for five counts. That's one. Core tight. Two, making sure you're keeping that position of that knee. Three and four. And five. And we're going to hold there for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulling back up into honey, drawing, leading through that heel and holding for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And dropping that leg down and just rolling out that right ankle after using it. Well done. We're going to lift into that left leg balance. We're going to hold and extend that leg, extend those arms, bend that left knee, making sure that you are keeping that positioning, core nice and tight. And you're going to inhale, exhale, lifting into high knee. That's one. And extend, leaning and stretching as far as you can, using those lower limb muscles to maintain that stability. You should feel that activation, keeping that arch up. That's three, drawing those gaps down your back as you're doing it. And four. And last one, and five. We're going to lift and lower for five counts. And one, and up, and two, and up, and three, and four, and five. We're going to hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and up. And lifting into that high knee for 10 counts. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Dropping that right leg and just rolling that left ankle out after using it. And 3, 2, and 1. Walking back to the end of our mat. You're going to inhale and on the exhale, rolling yourself down and walking yourself, your hands to the end of the mat. We're going to bend our knees. We're going to lift our right foot and place it comfortably next to our right hand. And then we're going to tuck that pelvis under our belly and we're going to lean forward and open that chest towards the ceiling, following with our hands and closing. That's one. And open. We're doing five on each side. And three. And four. And five. And slowly lifting up, tucking that pubic bone under that chin. And you're going to, arms in that T position, we're going to lean forward and back, pointing those palms towards the ceiling and rotate two pulses towards the right 
and rotate your pulses towards the left, back to center, leaning into that front hip. And we're going to do this sequence five times. And back to center, leaning into that front knee, and slowly back, and rotate towards the right, and rotate towards the left. We've got two more. And slowly back up, and rotate and rotate and back to center leaning into that front knee and we're going to hold for five four three two back up rotate back to center and rotate and lifting those back knees up bringing arms towards your side and we're going to lift and hold for five four three two one and slowly rotating to face the other way and from here placing those hands next to that left foot leaning into that left foot and taking that inner hand and opening and following that open chest and that hand with your eyes that's one and stretching open and two and three, two more, and four, and last one, and five, and slowly down, stacking that vertebra, lifting into that altered lunge position, knee on the ground, you can see that 90 degrees, arms in a T position, palms facing the ceiling, you're going to lean forward, Tucking that pubic bone to allow a stretch down this part of your hip area, your hip flexors and into your quads. And you're slowly going to inhale, rotate your pulse to the left, inhale, center, exhale to pulse towards the left, back to center and leaning forward and slowly back and left, two pulses and right, two pulses and leaning, that's two and slowly back and left two pulses and right two pulses and slowly leaning forward and we've got two more and back to center and leaning forward tucking in and drawing belly to spine back to center and rotate two pulses and rotate two pulses and slowly hovering that back knee off the ground for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly dropping down. From here, we're slowly going to turn over onto an all fours position. We're going to tuck our toes in under our feet and we're going to lift those hips up towards the ceiling and we're slowly going to rotate that pelvis out towards the ceiling behind us and we're just going to allow that deep stretch into the back of those hamstrings for five four three two one then walking our hands to the edge of the mat and keeping in this front support position we're going to inhale and on the exhale do and knee tuck into extension and alternate towards the left and that's two and three please make sure that you're sucking in that belly to spine and you're not bracing keep going and let's do two more on each side that's one and two and from here we're going to do 10 push-ups, inhale, exhale, one, and up, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten, and slowly into ten chest touches, inhale, exhale, chest touch, one, two, three, make sure you're not tilting that body as you move 
and let's do four more. One, two, three, and four. And slowly dropping those knees in and leaning into your rest position. Well done. Let's just allow a deep stretch down that back before we lift back up into that front support position and slowly lifting back up, core nice and tight, knees comfortably under hips, wrists comfortably under shoulders and inhale, exhale, right leg extension and then left leg extension. We're going to lift that right leg off the ground and we're going to toe tap and lift, that's one. Please make sure when you're doing this one to feel that activation into that back glute max and up and up. Let's do three more. One and two and three and up and hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lowering that right leg, lifting that left and toe tap. That's one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and holding for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one lowering bending those knees and leaning into that rest position well done Let's keep going, drawing those shoulders into the ground. We're going to do one more set in that extended push-up plank position. I hope you're ready. And back up, inhale, and on the exhale, right leg out, left leg out, core nice and tight. Inhale, exhale, knee tackle one and lift, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, into ten push-ups, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, into ten chest touches, one, core tight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, dropping those knees in, leaning into that reverse position, and inhale, and exhale, and one last set in that Superman leg extension hold. We're going to inhale and exhale back into all fours. Last push, keep going everyone. And extend, right leg and left leg. Core nice and tight. Lifting right leg and toe taps. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lowering right leg, lifting left leg, and toe taps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten, and holding for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down, bending those knees and leaning into that rest position, drawing those shoulders towards the ground and holding for ten, nine, eight. 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, turning over onto your right hand side. Well done, everyone. You should be getting a nice increased heart rate there, but let's keep going. I know all runners like that grind. We're going to place that top leg, that upper leg, over that lower leg. And I want you to make sure your ankles are in line with your hips and in line with your shoulders. And from here, I want you to face your fingers towards the wall next to you. You're going to inhale. And on the exhale, lift those hips up towards the ceiling, extending arm overhead and slowly back down. And we're going to do five of these. You're getting a stretch down that side part of your body. That's one. Inhale, exhale, reach and extend. And down, that's two. And up. And three. And two more. On the fifth one, we're gonna hold for five seconds. And the last one, we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. And slowly back down. We're going to get into a lowered position, bent arm, shoulder and wrist all comfortably in a good posture. You're going to get those knees in line with each other, extending that upper leg, slight forward rotation of that upper hip, core nice and tight. We're slowly going to lift and lower out to, I want that toe pointing towards the wall in front of you, but I want you to imagine this little picket fence in line with that knee and you lifting and lowering. While you're doing that, you're stabilizing that hip with your core. And we're doing 10 of these. And let's do four more. That's one and two. Not slumping into that shoulder. Three and lifting and bending and extending that leg, that's one, and two, and three, and four, and five, keeping that ankle flat, six, seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and extending, and keeping that hip rotation and little pulsations, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and slowly down. We're going to rest for three, two, one, then lifting into a side plank position. Other hand up towards the ceiling, extending, and knee tuck and extend. That's one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, two more, I mean three more, eight, going to ten, nine, and ten, and holding for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly lowering, we're going to turn over to the other side to do that same sequence, we're going to place that upper leg in front and over that lower leg, hips in line with each other, fingers facing the wall. We're going to inhale and on that exhale, lift those hips off the ground and extending arms and inhale back down. And inhale, exhale up and inhale down. That's two and three, keep going. Two more, and four, and you're gonna hold for five seconds on that fifth one, and hold for five, four, three, 
two, one, and slowly down. We're going to lower that elbow. We're going to get those knees in line with our shoulders, pointing that toe towards the wall in front of you. Remember that picket fence, core nice and tight. You can either place the hand in front of you or on your hip, just to make sure you're activating. And one, and two, keep going. Three, four, five, six, four more, seven, eight, and nine, and ten. Lifting that leg, keeping that forward rotation of that upper hip and bending and extending. That's one, and two, and three. Keeping that knee in line with the other four, five, six, seven, keep going, eight, nine, and ten, and little pulsations, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and lowering and resting for three, two, and inhale, and on the exhale, lifting into that side plank, extending and lifting that upper leg, arms towards ceiling. And inhale, and exhale, knee tuck, and one, and two, and three, four, keeping that knee height, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you're going to hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lowering. We're going to turn over onto our backs to stretch out those glutes that we've just used. Right ankle on left knee, hugging knee to chest for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Changing over, hugging knee to chest and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, placing both feet on the floor, making sure that your feet are in a comfortable position, a fist width apart from one another, and a foot and a half away from your glutes. We're going to inhale, and on the exhale, roll that pelvis up towards the ceiling, articulating through that spine, digging those heels into the ground, allowing that deep glute activation. We're going to keep in this position, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly rolling back down to neutral. We're going to inhale and on the exhale, lift right leg into tabletop, left leg into tabletop, and we're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Right leg down, left leg down. Inhale, exhale, lifting those hips up towards the ceiling, all the way up, digging those heels into the ground and squeezing those glutes. We're going to extend that right leg and you're slowly going to lower it down and hold in this position, squeezing that glute for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, pointing that toe, two, one, lifting and aligning those knees and holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lifting that toe up towards the ceiling and inhale, exhale, lower that, those hips down towards the ground and back up, that's one, and two, and three, we're doing eight, four, squeezing that glute, five, and six, and seven, and eight, and bending that leg into tabletop, and toe taps, one, keeping that hip height, two, making sure those hips are aligned, three, four, Corners and tight. 
five, six, seven. You should be getting a deep burn down this left glute, eight, lowering that leg and lifting that left leg, pointing that toe, lowering and holding for 10, keeping that hip height, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lifting and aligning those knees for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lifting that leg up towards the ceiling and lowering that hip for eight counts, one, and two, and three, four, five, keep going, six, seven, and eight, and into that tabletop position, inhale, exhale, toe tap, one, and two, and three, keep going, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, lowering that leg, lifting those hips to slowly roll yourself back into neutral, we're going to suck that belly to spine, inhale, and on the exhale, lifting those legs up into tabletop position, extending arms overhead, we're going to do double leg toe tap with arm extension into a crunch. And that's one, two, core tight, and three, four, five, doing ten, six. Make sure that that pelvis isn't moving while you're working, seven, stabilizing, eight, nine, and 10, lifting arms, keeping head, neck and chest off the ground, we're bringing arms towards the side, extending that, those legs, and pushing the air into the ground, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, slowly bending those knees back into tabletop, bringing arms back overhead, right leg down, left leg down, and just putting those hands into a T position and rocking from side to side for four counts. That's two and three and four and lifting those legs back up into tabletop position, right leg up, left leg up, we're going to inhale and on the exhale we're going to lift head, neck and chest off the ground while our knees and our hands remain in contact, slowly up and we're going to extend our legs while we do a circular motion with that hand, that's one and two and three, and four, core tight, and five, six, we're doing four more, seven, and eight, and nine, and 10, keeping 90 degree, bringing arms to your sides, extending those legs, and 10 counts, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bending those knees and slowly rolling yourself up into a seat position, hugging those knees towards your chest to hold for five, four, three, two, one. We're slowly going to extend our arms behind us, I want your fingers to be facing your toes and from here we're going to inhale and on the exhale lift those hips up towards the ceiling and we're slowly going to hold for 10, 9, core tight, making sure your hips are aligned, 5, 4 and inhale, exhale lifting your right leg up into tabletop and toe tap, that's one, 
two, and three. Keep going. Four, and five. And lowering that leg, transferring that weight. Left leg into ta tabletop. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Lowering that leg, lifting those hips, and holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lowering those glutes onto the floor, keeping those toes pointing towards the wall in front of you. You're going to place your hands in front of you, palms facing each other. You're going to inhale, and on the exhale, roll yourself down towards your toes and you're just going to lengthen yourself and holding for five four three two rolling yourself back up extending that spine placing your feet slightly larger than shoulder width apart we're going to inhale and on the exhale slowly rolling down drawing those knees into the floor and holding for five four three two one slowly back up thank you for completing that pilates for runners with me i feel so much more stretched out and flexible as well as very activated i know that it is so important to maintain a good flexibility and mobility when you are running which is why i do these types of classes every single day just so that I can enjoy myself out there on the road and in those trails. Have a good day everyone and I will see you soon.